can tell, the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Christ's Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Christ's Market ships nationwide. Stop by Christ's Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, Christmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. If you're more of a my money works for me kind of person, you're going to love free Kasasa cash checking from First Lockhart National Bank. With a few simple qualifications, your account will earn a great rate on the money you have with us. To learn more about Kasasa cash checking, head on over to First Lockhart National Bank. Parenting is full of surprises. You never know what to expect. So after our son was born, I called my Texas Farm Bureau insurance agent to set up a life insurance policy in case something happened to me. Sawyer is now two. And we'll soon have a sister. There's no one else I would trust with protecting my family. Coverage and discounts are subject to qualifications and policy terms and may vary by situation. Hello, Americans. Mark Twain said, a broken promise is better than no promise at all. Well, you and I both know when we make a promise, we keep it. Chuck Nash Auto Group has been doing that for years. They offer up the kind of one-on-one -on -one service that will follow the taillights of your pre-owned vehicle deep into that gorgeous Texas sunset. By the way, Chuck Nash will give you $750 more for your car, buy or trade. And now you know the best of the story. All right, we're here in Lockhart, Texas. The Lady Lions getting ready to start off a district game here against the Travis Rebels. The Rebels were a little late getting here, so we got a little bit of a late start going on, but we will still have softball for you. No JV tonight, just varsity ball. I'm surrounded with all kinds of talent here in the press box. I got Larry Rodriguez to my right doing the P or left doing the PA, and of course Carrie Smith who runs the show for me. We wouldn't have a show if it wasn't for her. Uh, run on the right, doing the color commentating, doing the producing, talking with our QA Rock and Rev, Randy Fry, the man that started Lion Country Broadcast Network. Randy, we're glad to have you with us again. A good night for softball. The wind's blowing a little bit, but it's still a beautiful night. Going looks like from left to right here, a little bit of a swirl, but hopefully we'll be able to see some home runs. I understand some of the girls in our team have the power to do so. But tonight, real quick, just get through the lineups. First, we'll start out with the uh, Travis Rebels. They'll be leading off with number seven, Maldonado. She'll be playing center field. Number two, batting number two will be number one, Rodriguez, playing short. Uh, batting third, number two, McPherson, the second baseman. Batting cleanup, De La Fuente. Her number is 10, and she will be pitching. Batting in the fifth spot, Mansano, the left fielder. Batting in the sixth spot, number 11, Kinchin. She's going to play first base for him. Uh, seventh spot, number 16, Gill, the third baseman. In the eighth spot, Garcia, the catcher. She's um, going to be batting eighth. And in ninth is going to be the right fielder and number nine. So in the ninth spot, number nine playing right field, Alvarez. So on the other side, we have uh, for the Lady Lions leading off, Ava Vega, the left fielder. She wears number one. In the second spot, uh, playing center field, number 10, Tori Escobedo. And the third spot, playing shortstop. You may have heard this name a few times, Tamar Reyna. Pretty much kills it in summer ball, and now she's killing it in high school ball, and I'm sure she'll be playing this at the next level as soon as her career ends. She wears number seven. 
in the four spot playing catcher, number 13, Mele Pineda. She is quite the player. She used to be an outfielder. Now she's the catcher and quite a stick there as well. Uh, batting fifth, pitching usually is a shortstop when uh, she's not pitching. And this is number two, Leah Herrera, uh, batting in the sixth spot. Be the uh, Number four, the right fielder, Jasmine Headsmith. A lot of speed there. In the seventh spot, Zoe Pompa, the playing third base, wears number 17. Uh, in the eighth spot, and she'll be kind of the hitting in this spot, but not necessarily playing out on the field, at least for now, and that is Elizabeth Smith. She wears number three. In the ninth spot will be uh, number 12, Mackenzie Mendoza. She is the first baseman. And then the player that is playing defense but not hitting will be number nine, Anita Renteria. She's playing second base. Coaches are now at the uh, home plate giving her – their lineups to their folks, and uh, you'll be able to, to hear the voice of Larry Rodriguez when he's calling the, the situation here. <clears throat> Carrie, it's been a while. How's it going? It's been a long while. Kind of? Not really. It's going fine. How are you? Oh, I'm doing pretty good considering the day that went on. But <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're here. Uh, at least the car is running again. That's a good thing. Nice. And you have a gigantic cinnamon roll, so you're good. I did. I um, actually got on my girly no-carb diet again and got home rushing around, get the car done, thinking the game was at 7 tonight, and uh, found out it was at 6. So I had to rush around, kind of found out my blood sugars were in the 50s, and I thought, ooh, I better grab some sugar. So, anywho, I better let the grandmother, or my mother, I guess I should say, yeah, you should definitely Let her know we went up an, uh, an hour early. And we are about getting closing in on game time here. <laughs> we should have played at seven anyway. I still got to get used to living in Texas where people are wearing coats and hoodies to a game and it's beautiful outside. I remember the first football game we went to where it got cool. The wife and I were there in shorts and a t-shirt and everybody had their coats on and their jeans and we looking around like, what in the world is wrong with these people? Of course, we were used to that stuff. and they, you know, they weren't now after that little snowstorm we had. I, I'm thinking I'm starting to get used to the, uh, the, warm, the, the yeah. yeah, my blood is starting to become Texas blood. Yeah, you should stop talking about people. No. <laughs> so we're sitting here watching. I figured by now they would have said, let's get the game going, but they're letting Travis warm up just a little bit longer here. Um, in past years, Travis has been a game in which the girls will go out and smack the ball around pretty good and, a couple times we've been close to no hitters in this game, so hopefully tonight we'll see some of the same. But before we even get into that, I want to go back to the QA. The man, the legend, Randy Fry. He's not happy with you, by the way. Why would I do? You didn't get him a cinnamon roll. Oh. Yeah. So, Randy, I said hello and thank you for uh, introducing me to cigars. I can't wait to see him again at Stedman's Poker Game. <laughs> Larry Rodriguez wants <laughs> Randy Fry to know. Uh, he wants to say hello and thank you for introducing him to the, the Stogies there. And um, he's, he's looking forward to another card game. Um, Stedman's, Stedman's House. house. It's got to be Stedman's House, though. Um, but, uh, no, Randy obviously was one of the original guys that started Lion Country Broadcast Network. It was just a thought back then when um, Coach Herman was still here and they were running the old slot T and they wanted to cover some football and they decided to do that for several years and then – about, I want to say three years in, they decided to add all the other sports. And that's when I came into the picture. My first year here, which was five years ago, was the very first year that we called basketball. And that's kind of what got me into becoming the voice of the Lions after the basketball season. I'm very glad and appreciative of Randy Fry because if it not for him, I never would have gotten into this business. And I'm, I'm super glad that I did. Um, it does look like we might actually get to play some softball here pretty quickly. So I guess since we've got a little bit more time, um, 
I'll continue to pat Randy on the back while he's doing the QA work tonight. As he's up there in the state I like to call Misery or Missouri. Uh, my son actually lives in that same state now, so I can't make too much fun of it. But, again, we'll be giving Randy all kinds of good love, good hype tonight. Um, we'll go ahead and take some commercial, give our uh, sponsors some love. Uh, you're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Dr. Peterson and his staff at Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic are here to serve you. We've been voted best chiropractor and best chiropractor's office for five years running. Are you bothered by headaches, back pain, or neck pain? Call Chisholm Trail Clinic of Chiropractic at 512-668-4163 to make your appointment. Mention this ad to receive a consultation, exam, and x-rays if needed for only $20. Call 512-668-4163 and begin your journey to hope, healing, and health.
it really quick before Scott gets going. We'd like to thank our additional sponsors, The Pearl, Rhonda Reagan Realty, Diesel Dogs, Snap Fitness, State Farm, and Westie's Pharmacy. All right, we're ready to go here. We finally have a softball team here to play us. Lady Lions going to try to get another W in their column for uh, district play. They've been playing pretty well, but Coach was telling me that as of late they've been struggling a little bit with the bats. They're hoping to wake those up tonight. And uh, Coach, I talked to Coach Carline before the game, and his, his biggest worry was ever having to do an interview with me. He said he was never looking forward to that. And he was actually probably going to hire his brother to come in and do the interviews for him. And, and then with all the, the COVID and what was going on, we just decided interviews would probably stop. And he was very thankful of that because he did not want to interview. <laughs> so. <clears throat> Leading off for the Lady Rose. So again, you'll be able to, to hear the rocking voice of Larry Rodriguez as he's the PA announcer sitting literally two feet away from me, and you'll be able to listen to him, and I'm going to you know, let him do his deal before I get on here. Herrera right down the middle of the plate for strike number one to start this off. Great way to start the, the inning here. Swing and a miss, but I thought for a minute there that Pineda was actually able to hold on to that, but I guess it got away from her. <laughs> oh, 2 count on the way. High, ball one. Herrera comes the one, two, a little inside. Pretty close, pretty close. Two and two is the count now. And she just struck her out looking. So Rodriguez, the shortstop, will be another right-handed hitter versus right-handed pitcher. First pitch a little high, ball one. There's the pitch right there, one and one's the count. Wind still blowing kind of left to right here. Ooh. Could have called it chin music, but wasn't quite high enough. Definitely got her off the plate. We'll see how that works out. Two and one's a count. One out here in the top of the first. Oh, nice pitch. A little bit of breaking ball makes it two and two. Love this umpire. I can hear him really well. Ooh, wow. Spoke a little soon there, I guess. <laughs> I mean, it must have been a little low. I guess. Swing and a miss, or second strike out of the night. So McPherson, the batter, she's uh, playing second base, batting third. So far, nobody has even put a bat on the ball, so Leah starting out very well. And side pitch for a strike. And strike number two, so let's see what kind of junk we see here in the 0-2 count. Yeah, 
And a swing and a miss. She strikes out the side. A good first half of the inning. No runs, no hits, and no errors. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Kpart Design Build LLC is a general contractor who resides and serves Lockhart residents and surrounding communities. Kpart Design Build LLC is a local builder established in 2006 and is insured, bonded, and accredited by the Better Business Bureau. Kpart Design Build LLC provides both residential and commercial new construction, remodeling services, and specializes in kitchen and bath design. Call 512-784-6940 or email kpartdesignbuild at yahoo.com to schedule a consultation with free estimate. Follow them on Facebook at Kpart Design Build and at Kpart Kitchen Bath. Chisholm Trail Barbecue features slow-cooked brisket, hot sausage, beef, and pork ribs done the right way. In a town famous for barbecue, Chisholm Trail is where the locals come to eat. Visit Chisholm Trail Barbecue, 1323 South Colorado in Lockhart, and come by after the game. Chisholm Trail Barbecue stays open until midnight after every home football game. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body has been Lockhart's premier collision repair and auto body shop since 1967. Certified iCar Standard, the highest ranking in the collision industry. For all your collision needs, come by and see Johnny & Sons 400 Blackjack in Lockhart. Johnny & Sons Pain & Body, we won't steer you wrong. All right, we're back here for the bottom half of the first inning where Herrera was able to strike out three straight batters no one even getting a bat on the ball. So a good start for the Lady Lions. So leading off for the Lady Lions will be the left fielder, Vega. Then the center fielder, Escobedo. And then the uh, shortstop, Reyna. And those are your top three batters. As they will be going up against number 10, that is De La Fuente. Am I lying? Is that not an awesome voice to have for a PA announcer? I'm telling you. Don't work out in the shower. <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> <coughs> my, uh, my favorite Cubs fan in Texas. Like the and only I, one in Texas? No, no, his little brother next door <laughs> likes him. <laughs> <and it's laughs> Ball one. As Vega is at the plate. Now, Larry and I have gone way back with the St. Louis Cardinals versus Cubs thing for a long time, but I've never been able to talk anything because the Cardinals have been very bad lately. A bunt's down. Pitcher comes up, going to throw to first. Nobody's there. It hits our runner in the back. She's going to run anyways. She's going to get another base out of it. No one's covering third. Now they are, but it's too late as she's going to get three bases out of a bunt. So a laid off single by Vega. Runner at third, no outs here. Escobedo, the center fielder now batting. Is he going to come up there left-handed? De La Fuente at the plate. Or at the, on the mound, I'm sorry. Foul ball, strike number one. Owen wins the count, runner at third. Ball's in the dirt, it's past the ball, it's going to be a run scored. So the Lady Lions strike first on a pass ball. One and one is the count right now. I'm thinking probably the same will look good for the first part of the year and tank out it towards playoff time, like we do always. <laughs> Ball two. Ozzie Smith is my all-time favorite baseball player. I got to see him in game six of the Royals-Cardinals World Series. Yep, I was there. We got ripped off in that game, too. 
<laughs> I was about to say, he's telling I was everybody say, how old he I is. I was so. a senior in high school. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Three and one's the count, and she's going to get a base on balls. I can't remember how long ago it was. Oh, my God, they're all picking on me now. What the heck? <laughs> So number seven tomorrow, Reina, the shortstop, will be batting. I would have to venture to guess we're probably going to see some wheels moving. Get her in scoring position. one nothing, Lady Lions here in the bottom of the first inning. That the wind feels good blowing in here. Ooh, line right up the middle for a base hit. Runner's going to go to third. So we'll have runners at the corners with no outs. So Mel, Mel's going to be up, the number 13, the catcher, left-handed hitter. She's got a lot of power. She is a good stick, clearly why she's the number four hitter. Strike, but that was just to let the runner advance. So we now have runners in scoring position at both bases now. Owen wins the count. Gets it outside, one and one. Foul ball down the left field line. Almost out of play. One and two. Did they really? If there's anything you ever want to know about baseball, Larry Rodriguez is the guy to ask. <laughs> one and two is the count. Ball's outside, two and two. Outside, three and two. I would venture to guess, though, if it's anywhere near the strike zone, she's got the green light to take on it. And it's not even going to be a shot. And we will score. So a run scores on that wild pitch. Runner goes to third. And Melee will go to first base on a walk. And she'll get an RBI in the process, even though it really didn't do anything. So the pitcher, Leah Herrera, the number two, is at the plate with runners at first and third. Two nothing, your lady lines are on top. Ball's in the dirt. Pernada, Pernada trots down to second base. Now both runners are in scoring position with a 1-0 count here. One and one is the count. <laughs> Randy Fry. He's jealous. <laughs> One and two is the count as Randy Fry is giving me a hard Everybody's picking on me tonight. What the heck? Randy Fry giving me a hard time now. One and two is your count. <laughs> Swing and fouled off. Pretty good crowd here for the Lady Lions. Actually, probably more than we had in basketball games, to be honest. Yeah, probably. It's pretty decent, right? Fouls it off. One and two stays the count. A lot of these players, the Lady Lions, have been around for a long time on this team. Rip down the left field line, but foul. Good stick. She'll get another shot. I coached a lot of these little ladies when they were tiny and cute. Now they're big. Scary. 
<laughs> did that one girl play ball when you were coaching? She sure did. Is that right? She getting thrown out of any games? No. The person we'd be speaking of, fly ball to deep center. Center fielder makes the play, sacrifice play on it. It's going to score a run. So she won't even get an actual bat, but she does pick up an RBI. Now But the producer that killed it all football season for us has shown up here in the old press box. Three nothings to score. Our bodyguard hasn't made it here yet, but who knows? She's doing our homework. Oh. oh. One out. Virtual work. One of those that count. One out. Sacrifice fly to center. Drove in a run. It's now 3-0. Pitched a little high. 2-0. You may have heard the name Headsmith before, as her sister was very good at softball as well. Yeah, still is. I've watched her on TV a couple times, actually. Man. So a... Four straight pitches, she will walk. Now, Runners at first and second. Been in the seventh spot, number 17, Zoe Pompa, and she plays third base. She does. A couple of games ago, she hit her first grand slam. I saw that. Career. That's amazing. I'd like to see one of those home runs tonight. So a wild pitch moves both base runners. So th this was your game growing up, right? This was absolutely my game. That's right. Up. That's right. I wonder why your kid didn't play ball. She did a little. I'm talking about now. She plays basketball. Three and O's the count of pass ball it brings in another run, making it four nothing right now for the Lady Lions. There's a strike. Pool open yet? Nope. Not yet. A little foul ball hits the dirt. She'll have new life. Got handcuffed on that one. There's a fly ball in the infield. Should be an out. And it is. And they're going to score a sacrifice fly to second base. Good music. Man, who brought the music tonight? Elizabeth chose that song as her walkout song. That is awesome. Five nothings to score. I'm generous and have five runs on two hits. The board has five on one. Ball one to Elizabeth Smith. Monday night will be our next game for the Lady Lions. Strike one to Elizabeth. Supposed to be seven, but who knows? <laughs> and another strike. One and two's the count, two outs. De La Fuente trying to get out of the inning here. Two and two.
three and two. And she'll walk her. Now batting first baseman, number 12, McKenzie Mendoza. McKenzie Mendoza, the first baseman, will be the batter. She's the ninth batter to the plate tonight. Smith on first, two outs. Both outs sacrifice. I don't know that I've ever seen a sacrifice uh, RBI to second base before, but I have tonight. Strike one. Foul ball. So, Carrie, when you played, what position were you? Catcher. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Because of that position, I can no longer walk. Well, that sucks for you. Yeah, we, we didn't have knee <laughs> saves back when I played. That was back when the dinosaurs were still running around. No, you just have to have big thighs. Oh. <laughs> and that's strike three, and she's not made a – now she's made an attempt. And she's safe. Okay, wait a minute. There was some confusion. Uh, I was going to say that. Was, yeah. Hmm. Okay, I've seen it all now. I'm just calling two strikes and one ball. Ah. Uh, so one and two is the count, two outs. Oh. Line drive down the left field line, foul. She'll get another crack at it. Vega waiting to get another crack at this inning here. She kind of singled and scored a run. What is a basketball player doing playing catcher? Me? Because I had a great glove. I just had no arm. Why were you playing catcher? Because, uh, yeah, it was terrible. <laughs> my son has just got an arm. My daughter's got an arm. Not me, no. Most of my life was first base, but every once in a while I had to catch because of the glove situation. Yeah, my brother, is that right? Foul ball. That's bringing it, that's for sure. Two and two is the count. Runners now a third. There's a fly ball to the outfield. There's going to be two people under horse. Center fielder's there, drops it. Run will score and stands up with the, uh, it's two bases just on an air. So Vega back to the plate here in the still the first inning. Six nothing. Fly ball out of play. We could see the movie Major Leagues here and put down the squeeze play from second base. Oh, wow. Someone's wanting to go home. <laughs> oh, and two's the count. Man. He still has an hour and 20 minutes. <laughs> There's a foul ball. It's a different, different atmosphere when you do softball and baseball games. There's a line shot down the third base line. It's fair. It's going to score a run. She's on her way to second and will stand up with a double. Nice hit. Now batting center fielder, number 10, Tori Escobedo. Escobedo will come up. She walked and scored a run her last time up. 7-0 here in the bottom of the first.
strike one. What would you walk out so be? Huh? What would you walk out so be? Oh, y'all don't want to know. Oh, I'll let you do something crazy. I'm just kidding. Mine would have been Eminem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah. The real one. Nah, the real one. No, no, the one from Eight Mile. I'm losing my name. Lose yourself. <laughs> Love lose yourself. Or anything. <laughs> Either that or some some song from the Rocky. Runner. Like the one. The one where he fought the Russian would be good. Strikes out, and she'll get on first base off the. So she strikes out, but does advance to first base. Another run scores. I don't even know. If you call that an RBI. Number seven, We're gonna go ahead and be generous and give it that RBI, even though. So tomorrow, back to the play. She singled her first at bat, scored a run. Line shot to right center field. That's in the gap. All the way to the wall. She's on her way to second. Runner is going to score. Tamar's on her way to third. They're going to send her. This is going to be close. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So a triple for Tamar. Solid shot by Reyna. Now batting catcher number 13, Malicia Reyna. So Pereira is up again. She walked and got an RBI her last at bat. Scored a run. Big and Rayner right now battling to see who's going to be the offensive player of the game tonight. Right now you got to go with uh, Reyna because she has a triple over the double. Oh, it's kind of like cards. Just that last hit. Yeah. And they're going to try to score, and they do easily. So pass ball ends up being a run. We're still here in the bottom of the first where it is now 10 to nothing. I don't even have a count, so you could be right. <laughs> and you were right, sir. That's, what, that's why they pay you the big bucks. Now batting pitcher number two. So Herrera going to try to help her cause here in the bottom of the first. She has a sacrifice fly to center field that drove in a run. Line shot down the left field line, and it is in there. A double it's going to be. Runners are now at second and third. Edseth is up to bat. She's got runners at second and third. 10-0 is the score. Ball one. There's a fly ball down the left field line, but it's going to go foul. Guess what? We have a little bit of a bit of a lonely action here. Give a shout out to Randy Fry again, the Rock and Rev QAing tonight. Of course, Carrie Smith, her stud daughter Carson in here as well. Two and two is the count. Inside on the ground, three and two. Ball four, bases are loaded. And speak of the devil of who's coming up, see if she can stick one down the right field line and make it another one. Third baseman, number 17, Zoe Bolfa. 
So we'll see if Zoe can get another one of those grand slams here, 10 to nothing. I remember watching her play JV last year, and she, I think she hit two in home runs in one game. 1-0. One oh. <laughs> swing and a miss. She was trying for something. <laughs> That was like a Bo Jackson type swing. <laughs> it would have been gone. <laughs> Break that bat over her leg. <clears throat> Two and one's the count. There's a line drive around third base line goes foul two and two. Deuces wild here in the bottom of the first. Line drive down the left field line. If she wouldn't have turned on that so quickly, we might have seen a grand slam. Into the wind. Stays at two and two. Three and two. Foul down the third base line. The last time Zoe was up, she hit the sacrifice fly to second base. Three and two's the count. Two outs here. Bottom of the first. 10 0 the score. And Yep. <laughs> Girls will have to give Coach a hard time for booting that one. Three and two's the count. Nope, want to change. <laughs> Gonna rough up the seams here. Three and two's the count. Nope, oh, right under here. Fouled out of play. At least I think it went out of play. <laughs> There's a foul ball down the left field line. Three and two is the count. Might as well, while we're at it, give a shout out to Clarence Roberta Smith of Austin, Texas, watching the game tonight. The parents and their two ridiculous dogs. Foul ball down the left field line. I still remember back to the day when my dad and I went to go watch Bo Jackson play because my dad's one of my favorite players and bought himself a beer and Bo was up, and he went to sit his beer on the ground and sit down, and when he looked back up, Bo was trotting around the bases. He had missed the home run. And there's a line drive down the third base line, but they're going to call foul. We did get to see Bo run up and around the wall that day. We also got to see him break the bat over his leg a couple times. That's fun. Yep. Yeah. 3-2 count, two outs, 10-0. Ball four. She's going to get an RBI the easy way. Man, the pitcher's going to be pitched out Green on one better. Brings up number three, Elizabeth Smith. I love this song. What happened?
coach ended the inning. Okay. So, <laughs> let's go through the stats here. One, one, two. <laughs> so the Lady Lions scored 10 runs on four hits. There were two errors and three left on base. After one complete, it's your Lady Lions 10, Travis 0. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network fueled by Vipe Live. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Come on in to Texas Oil Express, where we can change your oil in under 10 minutes. We also do inspection stickers. Be sure to shop Lockhart first and check us out on Facebook. Voted Caldwell County's best oil change in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2013, 2018, and 2019. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. All right, so it sounds like we had some subs, and I didn't catch them, so let me get these written down. Let's see. It. Looks like you got Cecilia at first base. Let's see. 15, first base. Olivia Delgado at second. Leading off for the Lady Rebels. I think that's Number all you Number 10, pitcher, Lucy Delafuente. Okay. All right, we're going to flip it back over here to the Travis side of things. Delafuente, the pitcher, is going to be up. A little low on the pitch, ball one. She got to get her rhythm back. It was a while since she's thrown one. Yeah, a good 30 minutes. <laughs> Strike on the inside corner, one and one. Didn't take long. No. Fouls it off, strike two. One and two is the count here in the top of the second. Swing and a foul ball. That's the first person to put the bat on the ball tonight. One and two stays the count. One and two is your count here in the top of the second. 10-0. Lady Lions on top. Foul ball. Catcher's under it and makes the catch. Out number one. So Mansano, the left fielder, will be the batter. She's gone through four straight batters. Swing and a miss, strike one. A little bit of movement on that one. Kinchian is on deck, Gill's in the hole for Travis. Line shot to short. Tamar's there, makes the catch. So Kinchian is the batter with two outs here. In the first inning, it was nothing but strikeouts, and here was a pop foul and a line drive to short.
0-1 is the count here. Strike two. Strecker out swinging, and that'll end it. One, two, three. That's the fourth strike out of the night for Lamb. No runs, no hits, no errors. We'll go to the bottom of the second where it is 10 nothing. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! For your plumbing service work in Caldwell County, call Darren Meitler from Meitler Plumbing at 512-398-3146. Meitler Plumbing, a local and family business, has been in the Caldwell County area for over 30 years. Voted best plumber in Caldwell County multiple times. Holds a master's license and bonded. Call Meitler Plumbing for your plumbing service work at 512-398-3146. Owner Darren Meitler, a 1989 Lockhart alumni and football captain for the Lockhart Lions. Go Lions! Once a lion, always a lion. Central Texas Refuse LLC is a highly respected full-service waste collection and recycling company serving Central Texas and the surrounding areas. CTR has proudly been servicing the cities of Round Rock, Cedar Park, and Lockhart for decades. CTR is one of the largest independent waste collection service companies in Central Texas. Founded in 1981, CTR has grown through organic expansion and currently operates from four primary locations in Southeast Austin, Round Rock, Lockhart, and from Wilco, a comprehensive single stream recycling facility in Williamson County. CTR is honored to be a sponsor of Lockhart High School Boys and Girls Sports. Go Lions! All right, we are back here in Lockhart, 11 to nothing. We, we got a updated that they did in fact count that last run before they conceded the inning. So 11 to nothing. It will be, it looks like uh, Elizabeth Smith will be the first batter of the inning. A few substitutions coming in, and we'll get those for you when we get up there. Again, give a little shout-out to the Rock and Rev, Randy Fry, the base playing fool up there in Missouri. He's eating a nice, warm dinner while That's we're sitting here. And even though you say it's not cold, it's kind of cold. It's not too bad. It's kind of cold. All right. If I'm not mistaken, if that we score four, isn't that over? Or is, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, here we go. Yes. We're just here for the show. Leading off the bottom of the second for your pitching line, number three, Elizabeth Smith. So, Carrie, how long have you been cool like this? Not very long. Not very long, just recently. <laughs> 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 so here we are in the bottom of the second. Elizabeth Smith will lead it off. A cool card? Finally, maybe. Like a real card? <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <coughs> Two and O is the count. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, I don't know how big they are, but <laughs> it's pretty. Fouled out of play, two and one. Looks like CeCe Toll be on deck. Replaced at first base. What is that beeping noise I keep hearing? I think it might be in your head. Ah. No, I, I hear something too. I'm not sure. Is it a camera? Oh, Could nice. be. Sen a single up the middle. Smith will reach on a single. Laser beam up the middle. But the laser beams in your head. Reminded me of Austin Powers. Cecilia Toll. So Toll will be the batter. Her first at bat tonight. Looking at her armband to see which sign is home run. Mm -hmm. Strike one. De La Fuente on the hill again. Two and or one and one, sorry. They're going to get her an inside strike there, one and two. I have a feeling we're going to have to be swinging the bat at this point in time. Anything close has definitely been a strike. And she'll foul it off. Smith was running on that one. Vega is on deck. Swing and a miss. And the throw down the first is not in time and it's going to right field. That's what I thought too. We'll okay. see. She's up. Yep. So she'll go down with a strikeout. Got to try. But by her trying, it advanced the runner to third. So hey, it all worked out. So Vega, who has a single and a double, drove in a run, scored two. One and one the count. Here in the bottom of the second, 11-0. Inside and in the dirt, and gonna get another run out of it. Pass ball for a run scored by Smith. Her second run of the game. 12 nothing. High fly ball to the left field short stops there. And it's in play. It'll be a double. <laughs> the ball hit the ground before it didn't touch anything of her glove. Now batting center fielder, number 10, Tori <coughs> Escobedo. Tori Escobedo with a, she's walked, scored a run. She struck out but got on base and scored a run. Runner at second, one out, 12 nothing's the score. Runner's moving to third, nobody's there. She'll get it standing up. Strike called. 0-1's a count. Slap hit. Foul. He got plans. <laughs> oh, and two's the count. Outside, runner's going to score easily. <laughs> By the way, that's where uh, you 
One and two, the count. Slaps a foul. <laughs> Woke that person up. <laughs> one and two is the count, one out. 13 nothing here in the bottom of the second for the Lady Lions. Top of the order up with Escobedo. She dinks it into left field. That's going to be at least a single, and that's where she'll stop. Bring up the shortstop, Tamara Reyna. So Reyna with a single, a triple, an RBI, and two runs scored tonight. I know, that's why I'm in here. De La Fuente, high pitch, runners going, standing up. 1-0 is a count. Another high pitch, runners going to go again. Long time since I've seen white cleats on a ball player. Line shot down the left field line, just foul. What do you mean you haven't seen white? Oh, like the black dirt? was. I mean, yeah, I mean either like the maroon or red cleats or black. I, it's been a long time since I've seen white cleats. Really? <laughs> no way. <laughs> Whoa, that one got away from her. 3-0. and oh. Line down the line goes foul. 3-2 and two the count now. And she a little early on that one. About took the kid out. <laughs> See if he's still alive down there. Looks like into a crowd of the fighting lions over there. <laughs> <laughs> High fly ball. Uh -oh. Center fielder's on it. Moving, moving. Oh, it's in there. And she's going to get another double. I don't know, that's her first double. She could bat one more time and hit a homer. She'll have the cycle. Nice hit by Reyna. Brings up catcher. Number 13, Alicia Moreno. So Pereira will be the batter with the 14 to nothing score. Tomorrow will be at second. One run will end this game. Um, yes, my wife is a dance teacher, so yes. It's slapped around if I don't do things right dancing. That, she's an ex-cop, carries a gun, so you got to watch out. I still got to find out from the city how I can complain about that neighbor of mine. I don't That one that always has cub stuff all over the place. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> I need to get my walker out and walk across the yard. So runner is at third, so Tamar is literally a single away from winning the game for us. And there's a hit up the middle, and that's the ball game as Tamar will score. That should be it. Maybe not. I guess we're going to keep going. Maybe it has to be after three. Usually standard games are after three. Is it after three? All right. <laughs> so strike one one and one's a count on left Herrera's pitched a good game two and one Harry Carey. <laughs> yeah. Balls in the dirt. Runners on the way to second. Three and one is the count here in the bottom of the second. 15 nothing. Lady Lions on top. Line drive to left field. Air mail. It's going to the wall. Lee is on the way to second. Pereira going to score a triple. Second triple of the night for the Lady Lions. Nice throw by Herrera. Brings up right fielder, number four, Justin Hesmith. So Hesmith will come up. She's walked twice. She scored a run. Herrera has doubled, tripled, drove in on two runs. She had a sacrifice fly in the first and the RBI triple there. 16-0 right now here in the bottom of the second. Foul ball. I tried to get it up here, but all that yucky glass stuff in there. Fly ball to deep left field. To the wall. Man, a double. Massive hit by Hensmith. Brings up your third baseman, number 17, Zoe Popa. Snoop Doggy. Home for the batter. She's sacrificed fly RBI and she's walked. A little Snoop Dogg going on there. 17 to nothing right now. Inside pitch. Runner's going to go. Two and O's account. Three and O. <laughs> Foul ball. So she will walk. Runners at the corners. Now batting number 21, Zenaida 
Zanida Tucker, the batter. She will be pinch hitting here. Two and oh the count here. Oh, <laughs> you gotta like a player that will do that. You got to like a player that will stick their arm in the way of the ball to be hit. Tucker just won the Hart Award tonight. Bases loaded. Brings up Toll. She struck out her first at bat. Where'd our runner go? Did we just make an out just because? Yes. Okay, I'm <laughs> kind of lost here. <laughs> so... <laughs> We took it out on third base, and then we got another one getting hit. Might have to start looking at charging them out here before long. So two hit batsmen in a row. And they're going to get her out at third base, and that's going to end the inning. Yeah. All right, so after two complete innings of play, it is 17 to nothing, Lady Lions. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network, fueled by Vibe Live. You can tell the pitmasters are making the magic happen every time you walk through the doors of Kreitz Market. The delicious smell of smoked meats greets your every visit. Not going to be in Lockhart for a while? Kreitz Market ships nationwide. Stop by Kreitz Market at 619 North Colorado in Lockhart or find us on the web, kreitzmarket.com. That's K-R-E-U-Z market.com. No sauce, no forks, just good taste naturally. First Lockhart National Bank has been meeting the needs of Caldwell County since 1889. We now serve Travis County with a branch on Slaughter Lane and Hayes County with a branch in Kyle, plus a brand new location in San Marcos. As a member of each of the communities we serve, our relationship bankers, tellers, loan officers, and managers are committed to achieving the financial goals of every customer, one interaction at a time. So whether you're dreaming of a new house, buying a boat, or sending your children off to college, First Lockhart National Bank will be there every step of the way with financial services and guidance you can trust. Before we start off the third inning, we'd like to thank the Pearl, Rhonda Reagan Realty, Westies Pharmacy, State Farm, Snap Fitness, and Diesel Dogs. All right, so leading off here in the top of the third will be the third baseman, Gill. And now we're kind of hungry for diesel dogs since yeah. Larry's talking about making homemade hot dogs. Yes. Homemade nasty chili. <laughs> <laughs> we have to go get good chili from diesel dogs. <laughs> or Pitch is a little outside, ball one. She has faced six batters, struck out four of them. There it is. One and one. Swing and a miss. Oh, took a little off of that one. One and two's the count. Struck her out. Fifth strike out of the night. Now batting catcher, number 20, Adriana Garcia. 
So the eighth batter, Garcia, to the plate. She is the catcher. Now we're, since we're in the top of the third, that if we continue to hold on to this lead, we will be winning after this, this inning here. Strike one. Swing and a miss, strike two. Struck her out looking. So the number nine hitter, the right fielder, Alvarez will be batting. She has now struck out six batters, and she has faced just eight. Okay, Larry's pork chops are going to be good. That's what he said. He's, he's not at home to check on him, but. <laughs> Inside, ball one. See, Randy, we are going to have a good dinner like you. Larry just invited <laughs> all of us to go eat at his house. Pork chops and applesauce. <laughs> Strike two. One and two is the count. Oh, check that. I have two and two. I must have missed one. Deuces wild here in the bottom third or top of the third. And that is going to do it as she strikes out the side. Are we? What are we doing? Oh, that's it. So that'll do it as the Lady Lions will win 17 to nothing tonight in district play against the Travis Rebels. And uh, we have our Johnny and Son and Chuck Nash offensive and defensive players of the game. <clears throat> so we'll go ahead and take a real quick break. You're watching Lion Country Broadcast Network fueled by Vipe Live. For over 15 years, Raina Drywall and Paint has been serving Lockhart and the surrounding counties. We are experienced in all phases of construction. You can count on us for any exterior or interior painting job. Call 512-925-0634 to schedule an appointment with Raina Drywall and Paint today. Come on in to Texas Oil Express, where we can change your oil in under 10 minutes. We also do inspection stickers. Be sure to shop Lockhart first and check us out on Facebook. Voted Caldwell County's Best Oil Change in 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2013, 2018, and 2019. Link Realty proudly supports Lockhart Lions Athletics. For all of your real estate needs, come see Link Realty on the square in Lockhart or visit them online at linkrealtytx.com. Meitler Storage is locally owned by Angela and Darren Meitler. Since 2002, Meitler Storage is just off Highway 142 in Maxwell, Texas, across from the Valero. For an appointment, call 512-398-7100. Your business is always appreciated. And a reminder, once a lion, always a lion. Go Lions! All right, we are back here. The final score again, 17 to nothing. Lady Lions on top. Whoop, there goes the pin. 17 0 Lady Lions on top. Um, Going to go through the Johnny and Sons defensive player of the game real quick. That will go to Leah Herrera, the senior, as she pitched a great game. Struck out, uh, ended up being se six, seven of the nine. She struck out seven of the nine tonight. And so she'll be the Johnny and Sons defensive player of the game. 
There's going to be a three-way tie here for our offensive player of the game, and we'll just go with the girls who were stroking the ball hard, putting in their RBIs. We'll go with uh, the seniors, Leah Herrera. We'll go with Ava Vega. And then on the junior side, Tamar Reina. The, the, Reina, those are the three offensive players of the game for Chuck Nash. So I guess that'll do it for us tonight. Again, the 17 and nothing is your victory. Want to thank Randy Fry, the Rock and Rev, for being the QA tonight. Carrie Smith for producing, color commentating. And uh, for me, Scott Smith, we appreciate you watching tonight. Monday night, we'll be right back at this again. So tune in that night, and you'll see some more Ladyland softball. Thank you for watching, and good evening. Good night.